Previously on Mary Skelter 2. We struggle through the merchants and the gimmicks of the tower base, as well as being hunted by the area nightmare. Eventually, the group comes across a destroyed Sakura tree in the middle of the tower base, as well as another jail core. After defeating the core guardian, we asked Alice if this is where she woke up after going Blood Skelter. However, Alice is sure that there was no tree where she woke up, thus deepening the mystery of Alice's whereabouts even more. That aside, we push through the tower base, this time on the hunt for the nightmare. Alright, so I said there was going to be like a short uh, update on where I am. This is the Switch version of Mary Skelter Nightmares. Basically, I'm just doing the tower base like I normally would, except on easy, so all the maps are complete. Um, the other areas, not really. I mean, some of these are complete because I was looking for the character events of the girls, because some of them are in the field, if you remember, so... Um, I eventually just decided to look them up, but when I looked them up, they were giving the PC version. So... For some of them, I really had to look. Some of them were in the same place, like... Hamlin's was still in Tower Base 3, but the coordinates were wrong, so I needed to really finish this map. Um, Stuff-wise, this is basically my main team from Nightmares. I just replicated it, so there's no... Nothing special there. Uh, I am playing on easy, just uh, just to speed things along. The stuff is kind of basic. Basically, I'm just playing it like I did in Nightmares. Um, there's gonna be a whole separate episode to this, so I, this is just a cut in just to inform you guys that stuff is going on. And I forgot what this cutscene is. Oh yeah, okay, so this is where I am. So, you see, uh, when I said I was kind of in sync with my Mary, Mary 2 run, I really meant I was in sync with my Mary 2 run where I'm literally paralleling them. Uh, just, you know, it's kind of fun. It's kind of poetic in such a way, you know. But, see, it's almost as if we're being told who we are. Huh. I wonder why. I wonder why that's a thing in Nightmares. It's like we've been here before. Deja vu? Why do I know this tree? I'm, I wonder why, guys. <laughs> so nostalgic. Oh, my hair was cut off. Okay, I don't know about that. Okay, that's... You, you, you think that you know the reason behind your habit? Huh. Okay, so I haven't finished Mary 2. At the time of playing this, so I don't know all the secrets. But I'm rereading this now. Kind of feels... I, I, I wouldn't say it's a giveaway. I mean, I, I still don't know what it is. Yeah, b basically everyone just f feels like they already know what happened and who they are. As if all of the relationship episodes already happened. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to stop it there for now. Um... But actually, it's actually a bad thing that this is parallel with Nightmares because uh, with Mary Skelter 2 because this this game has to finish the underground cavern so that this game has the full uh, full story, you know? So I actually need to be faster than my Mary 2 run. Not bad. And it should be the case because this is on here easy, like straight up easy. Nothing's really stopping me here. But as I said, the goal is... What the hell is this? <laughs> the goal is... Um, when Mary 2 finishes, I will also have the ending to Nightmares. The true ending to Nightmares. So I hope you guys Let's look forward begin. to that. And see you guys back at Mary Skelter 2. Alright, um, I said I was gonna do uh, events, like uh, relationship events. But I don't have anything to... Hang on, let, let me show you guys. I don't have any gifts for Alice. Like, I straight up don't have any. I haven't been getting them, I haven't found anywhere to buy them. 
not storage, and I haven't been dropping them either. And she's, she only has two hearts, like two stars, I guess. So, to remedy that, I was thinking maybe I'd do one of the work orders, welcome, welcome. and there, I think there's only one work order with her stuff. Well, you can get this, but this requires you defeating 10 noisy cats for all of one apron, so no, that's no fun. Um, where's the easy one? I think this is the easy one. Yeah, yeah, this is the easy one. So let's go do this. And it, since it's head to downtown, it's probably... Okay, no, it's not. It's not something with a dialogue attached to it. Okay, so I'll just go kill that and I'll see you guys with the real relationship events. So I managed to get Alice to three stars. So let's do Alice first, I guess. That that unusual. I guess we're starting this episode in a typographical error. That's unusual to hear Alice wanting to see us. I think this may actually be the first time she's asked us to come. She did mention to bring Jack along too. Maybe she has something to discuss. Alice room. Jack seems happy about us going to see Alice. His happy feelings are flowing through me as I speak. <laughs> no need to fret. Alice is beyond the door here. It's me, Otsu. I'm coming in, Alice. Come on in. What? That was a bit too high. Welcome, Otsu, little mermaid. Oh, is this... A tea party? Why, yes. I don't have enough teacups, so I had to improvise a bit. Well, I think this is a beautiful setup you have here. I think so too. Sure, she's having using bowls and other items to cover the lack of cups, but... That's not what is important. What's important is that she's finally holding a tea party. Looks like your dream came true. Kudos to getting it all set up. Jack looks happy too. Jack, don't you go off like that before. You don't want to waste what Alice set up, do you? Understand. Okay, I guess we'll make our leave now. Let us know how it went, okay, Alice? Huh? You're leaving? We brought Jack here like you wanted. If there's anything else we can help, let us know. And us staying here is only going to get in the way of you and Jack's tea party. Don't you get it? Look at the setup! I have the se I have set red- What? I have set ready? I have the set ready for you and Atsu! Huh? But wasn't the tea party supposed to be for you and Jack? I mean, we're more than happy to join, but are you sure we won't get in your way? Don't worry, you're more than welcome to join. I wanted to invite you to after getting the place set up with Jack. Oh, I see. I'm sorry about that, Atlas. It didn't dawn on me. <laughs> I swear they're doing this on purpose. It didn't dawn on me that you were doing this for us. I wanted to show you my thanks to you too. Thanks? You still don't get it, do you? That applies to you too, Little Mermaid. Huh? But I didn't do anything deserving of thanks from you. You both saved me and Jack. Sure, Jack may have saved Little Mermaid when you fell. But you brought him back without turning your back on him. Without you. He wouldn't be here now. He'd probably be the underground cavern nightmare, honestly. Well, it was just the right thing to do. You also reunited me with Jack. You can't imagine how much I am in debt to you. I didn't know that. I'm sorry I didn't notice. I also thought that all Alice needed was Jack. But this just shows that Alice cares about everyone else as her friend, too. Sorry we didn't take notice earlier. Yes, and that's why you didn't need to apologize to me when I got hurt, Little Mermaid. But you kept worrying about me and put me ahead of yourself. I'm sorry. Of course Jack is precious to me, but everyone here is precious to me too. Now, do you see why I want to have a tea party with you? Yes, absolutely. We've all been misunderstanding Alice all along. She's way more caring than we thought she was. We would be honored to join your tea party, Alice. No need to be reserved anymore, you hear? 
Yes, I understand. Now then, let's enjoy our tea party to its fullest, shall we? I only got one star. That's that's actually surprising there's more. Can you imagine? Jack's way larger than me, but he can clean the room better than me. Well, I guess that just means that he's that serious. When it comes to you, Alice, I'd be really happy if that was the case. Oh, do you want seconds? Oh no, it's the same one. It just cut into the tea party. Why, well, yes. Oh, I'm fine for now. You don't look well. Is there a problem? Not really. It's just that my chest is really tight. <laughs> don't tell me your breasts grew again. Hmm, you have big breasts, breasts on too? No, they're not big at all. You're saying that with me here, huh? Darn it, I just rubbed Princess Bad there. You do know that lying about the size of your breasts is a sin, right? Wait, she's irate now too? You're absolutely right, Alice. Isn't it, Little Mermaid? Her comment was expected coming from a well-endowed person. Oh, but you do agree with me. That small breasts are a lot more convenient, right? I agree. Small-sized breasts is light on the body and makes it easier to move. They also don't get in the way of battles. <laughs> Rip Otsu. You can lie down face first without crushing your breasts. I I'm glad we agree with me about having small breasts, Little Mermaid. Same here. I can't get into their conversation. <laughs> That's right, we can be proud of having small breasts. The age of large breasts are over. Those with small breasts will overcome the chaos of this world. What? What? What happened? Oh my god, what's Sleeping Beauty doing? <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Up. Sleepy? Uh, are you hurt? Are you alright? Fine. Hmm. Big breasts. No good. <laughs> uh, well, not entirely, but. Big breasts get in way. I get in your way. <laughs> not at all, Sleepy. You're of great help to us all the time. Why, yes, we were simply joking. There's nothing good coming from... There's nothing good coming from having small breasts. Yup, small breasts doesn't add curves to your body. It makes you look miserable. <laughs> I like how they have to backtrack, like fully backtrack on everything they said. Sh she's right. Standing next to someone with large breasts will make you feel miserable too. Oh, and sometimes people will look at you miserably too. Wow. <laughs> They're just hurting themselves. <laughs> Having a large press doesn't mean that you can't fight well. Yup, there's no battle out there that wouldn't be affected that would be affected by the size of your breast. Actually, there is. Right? We actually admire those with large breasts. Isn't that right, little mermaid? Yup. Having large breasts are the best. Isn't that right, Alice? Good. Not a burden then. Uh that's right, Sleeping Beauty. So be proud of yourself. We admire you. Yup, I'll be proud. See you. Princess? Alice? <laughs> we don't have large breasts. Uh. <laughs> they just finished themselves off. Uh, I'm sorry, girls. Make yourself at home. Oh, that was... That was good. That was good. I like that one. <laughs> uh, but for real, right? That, that was only... Yeah, she's only three star. Damn it. I'm, I'm gonna have to run around in the previous areas to look for gifts for Alice because... I actually want her five star, you know? I want her five star because if I get too high up the tower, I might not have the opportunity to star her anymore. You know, I might suddenly run into a point of no return or something. Anyway, let's do Gretel. And then I guess I'll go hunting for the... Uh... Jail Tower Nightmare, I guess. We can do that. 
Huh? What's this sweet smell? Where is it coming from? Groom. Oh, you mean that room there? That's Gretel's room. Even if she was eating sweets, it shouldn't smell this strong. What is she doing in there? Hey Gretel, you, you there? I'm coming in. Ah. Uh, what's with the vanilla smell? Your room smells way worse than outside. Gretel, are you okay? Is the smell getting to you? No, I'm absolutely fine. I'm simply enjoying the environment, you know, considering that the entire dorm area is made out of sweets. I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's like I'm covered in sweets. I can feel my face twitching in joy. Is, is this the vanilla essence from before? You mean the van vanilla essence from like 20 episodes back? Wow. Yes, I made a pouch infused with the essence to enjoy its aroma. Not a bad idea, if I say so myself. The smell of vanilla is said to relax one's souls. You're feeling relaxed too, I assume. <laughs> it's way beyond relaxed. She's tripping. <laughs> I too wish to get high on vanilla. It's good that you that you're that you're enjoying the aroma. You're enjoying the aroma, but don't you think it's a bit too strong? It is. I thought it was well balanced. The smell is so strong that it numbed your senses. Let me air this place. Jack, can you open the window? Yes. The aroma, it's starting to fade. What a waste. Just enjoy it in small portions. Too strong and it's really going to do your senses bad. You know, this reminds you of uh, when you were, when, um, well, when you were, I'm, I'm assuming everyone did this when they were kids, right? When you took a marker, like a pencil pen, and then you started sniffing it. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm imagining this, that's exactly what's happening with Gretel, except with vanilla. All I need to do is to smell my own body to calibrate my sense of smell. Like so. Huh? The back of my hand smells like vanilla. Well, you're li you were literally pickling yourself in here. <laughs> what? Why are you licking your hand like that? My hand smelled so good, so... Hmm. But I guess smell doesn't necessarily equate to taste. Gretel does some of the strangest, strangest things sometimes. So if it did taste like vanilla, would she like bite her hand off or something? The concept of smell arousing hunger is quite horrible. I'm starting to make myself hungry. Yes, very hungry. You don't fight your urges, do you? Why, thank you. <laughs> this is why Gretel is best girl. She doesn't need... She doesn't need the biggest scenes to make the funniest... Uh, funniest uh, events, I guess. Occasions, interactions. Uh, I wasn't praising you, but... Okay. Well, at least she's enjoying the vanilla essence I found. It's nice to see her enjoying it. Nice double same sentence there. Be quick. Okay, bye. <laughs> Every time she says be quick, I'm like, okay, bye. Uh, let's do one out here. I think I think we have enough time. Come to think of it. Huh? You remember the set of pens we gave to Hamlet? Oh, here's the other one. I, I wonder what she's doing with them now. This one's like even more episodes before. Because the dorm area was before... It was before Waterside. So yeah, this was even older than uh, the vanilla essence. She wanted to draw her own manga, but I wouldn't be surprised if she's gotten bored by now. Otsu! Otsu! Anime sound effects, I guess. There you are! I've been looking all over for you! Hamlin, what's with the urgency? <laughs> I couldn't hold myself back. I wanted to show you something. Behold, my very own manga! Oh, you did make your own manga. That's pretty amazing. So get. Drawing manga was a bit too hard. Drawing out the borders of each scene was a major pain. So I decided to draw myself a picture first. Ta-da! A hero! Th that's... Surprisingly good. 
I guess it's true to think that, but... So how is it? I'm open to any candid remarks. It looks really good. You're amazing, Hamlin. I can't believe you've never done this before. Oh, I knew it. I thought I drew it pretty well myself. It still lacks the finesse of my holy grail manga. <laughs> Why am I afraid to ask what her holy grail manga is? But, what, One Piece? <laughs> but I'm sure I'll get better with practice. You're right. In any case, I'm surprised you have the knack for drawing, Hamlin. All that manga reading paid off. You know, if everyone who read manga were actually good at... Were in turn good at making manga, we'd have a lot more manga in the world. Like, how many times have you heard someone read a manga and like, you know, I can make my own, and then they try one page and then they give up. I still have a, a lot of ahead of me. I need to draw backgrounds, borders, dialogues, and more. Personally, I tried practicing drawing a lot. Like, a lot. And I find that drawing backgrounds was easier for me because backgrounds, like, don't need anatomy. I mean, you, it kind of does because, you know, the farther something away, you need to make it smaller or bigger. But it's easier compared to drawing hands or, you know, proportioning the body. So I can understand backgrounds, but the body, like human anatomy, no, I can't do it. I need to improve. I have stories drawn out in my mind, too. Hamlin is actually thinking this time. <laughs> That's the sentence, guys. Hamlin is actually thinking this time. <laughs> I guess that's how much he likes manga. If you want to portray your story, you do have other options besides manga. Huh? What do you mean? You could write a novel. For example, since we know you can draw, you can make storybooks or even slideshows. Huh? Storybooks and slideshows? I suppose I can do those too, but... Doesn't ring a bell. Don't they both sound a bit too kitty? Well, I guess those are targeted at younger audiences. Still, those are options you can take to express what you have in mind. Express. Of course, keeping at it with manga is definitely an option too. Hmm, what you mentioned is worth exploring. I do want to draw mangas, but that was only because I wanted to express the story I had in mind. What excited me the most reading my Holy Grail manga was its intense story. I can feel your excitement, Mahamlin. You know, you're right, Otsu. I shall consider storybooks and slideshows as an option. I will continue practicing my manga drawing skills, but now I have options. Thank you, Otsu. You are of great inspiration. All right, I'll do this. That's spirit, Hamlin. Ugh, my battle has just begun. And she runs off. Look at her go. It was worth giving... It was worth it giving her the drawing pens. Isn't that right, Jack? Mm, I see. Oh, but I hope her... My battle has just begun phrase won't raise any bad flags for her. I mean, death flags? <laughs> Did that? No, that didn't really unlock anything. That's, that's literally it. Okay. Uh... Okay, you know what? Screw it. I I'm gonna... I'm gonna look for Alice's gift items off camera before heading to the upper tower. So that's gonna be a lot of off camera checking shops in all the areas and whatnot. But for now, I think, I think, I'm gonna save right now just to be sure. But I think it's safe to kill the, uh, whatchamacallit? The tower base nightmare. I think we can do that. So, fuck me. I have to run all the way back there, do, don't I? So, here's the map of the sixth floor. Clearly, <laughs> if it wasn't abundantly obvious, we run around this. So, I'll try to use it because if... Because remember, I died to this guy, right? When he was chasing me. So that means his, like, uh, first phase is really tanky. And I really will need to use the environment, I think. I'm not gonna risk putting bombs at the same time, so I'll just keep bomb Bamboo Guard up. And that's also why um, Sleeping Beauty is already out, because Bamboo... because Kaguya's SP is going to Bamboo Guard, okay? 
There, the nightmare! If we can defeat it, we should be a we should be one step closer to our escape. That's what I need to hear to get me a bit more motivated. Grr, Rapunzel won't lose! Why yes, Rappy, let us show it our grace in battle. It's the tower's nightmare. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> oh god! I haven't even Oh. Hang on, I need to get the items. I haven't even gotten to the traps yet. Uh, just, just defend, just defend. Just defend. We need to get to our flash grenades. Oh god. Otsu has inflate though. That's not good. I'm gonna be running in poison. I'm gonna be running in poison. Where is antidote? First antidote. Oh, shut up. I'm picking my items here, man. Antidote. There we go. Antidote on you. And then item into flash grenade. Here. Here. Goodbye. Is this the right way? Yeah, it's the right way. Bamboo guard. This isn't good. Here I go. Can I just... Yeah, I can. <laughs> Time to use my power. Here I go. Maybe we should start running. <laughs> Cause we. Time to use my power. Ow! Did that? Did that break my defense? Cause if it did, I, I apparently I can't use this strategy anymore. Ow. Good. My turn. Bow to me. I'll crush you. Oh god. Here I go. Come on, Mercurius, Mercurius. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Leave it to me. All right. AD, ADs, healing AD. One damage. <laughs> Very good. I do my best. There we go. It looks like our attacks are working. Yep, it's strong, but we're just as strong too. Yeah, just a little more and we'll be able to hear its sweet death cry. But it isn't given up yet. The nightmare hostility against us is growing. Well then, I suppose it needs to feel my power at its fullest. In any case, now's our chance. Let's finish it. We can't lose. We're gonna lose our whole front line if he gets the first turn. He didn't. Okay, at least. Nightmares weak to wind. I can still do this. Stay with me. Good. Who who heals the team? I... Gretel, right? Yeah, 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 it's Gretel. Hurt. Howl. Attack increase. Howl again. Okay, well, if you want to waste your turns, don't let Here me stop you. Don't let me stop Leave you. I think if I if I fail at this, I'm gonna bring um, Thumbelina. I need the spell on this team. Okay. Where is the this one? Hawkeye on Hamlin. Let's do this. I shall do my best. Skatari block. Magic damage output increased. My three swords guys are really weak to magic. If that magic is very painful, I am going to. I'm gonna regret all my decisions. Okay, that skill's shit. <laughs> Let's not use that skill anymore. I'll do my best. Okay. Power. Leave it to me. Doesn't matter who it lands on. Okay. Uh, I, I meant rage rush, not rush attack. <laughs> 
Oops. I misread. Here I go. Remove all ailments. We don't have any ailments. <laughs> SP. Here I go. Bye -bye. Rage Rush. Okay, on the book. That's fine. Inflato. Did it land? Yes, it did. I need to get, get rid of that. Men lowered. My turn. Uh, remove all ailments. <laughs> Get up, my turn. <laughs> that works. And okay, okay. How? I can do this. I'm sure you can, but. I want a guard stall. Huh. Guard stall, fine. But that's a bit risky because our our blood our Here blood status is not Daijobu. Purge, Sleeping Beauty. Leave it to me. Skill Rage Rush. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay. Execute that book. Okay, nice, nice. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> like Otsu, because we can't afford a blood sculptor Otsu. My turn. Rage rush. Okay, on the book again. It's fine. All right. What I don't, what I don't want him to do, is foc. Wow, nice Here counter. <laughs> is focus one person down. All right, we have a bit of breathing room. We can start debuffing him like that. Here I go. We don't have any SP though. Ha! Whack him. Oh. Didn't work. Something's coming. All out. All out. My turn. Mass brandish. Time to die. It's actually my favorite skill from Nightmares Ew, because whenever friend. you get mass brandish, it's just it's just Let's a lot go. of damage. But in this game, it's not as much, but it's fine. Nice! Landed on the Nightmare. <laughs> AoE? What happened? I mean, not that I want him to start doing AoE damage, but his first phase is way harder than his second phase, you know? Not that I'm complaining too much. Can we get rid of this book? Yes, we can. It's still death down, so you can still random rush. I. Leave it to me. I mean, I guess random also includes in the number one hit. You know. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. That's life. Here. Thank you. My turn. If he's not gonna do anything else, we're we, we're done. We won. Yeah, suddenly he's only doing. Never mind. Never mind. There's his AOE attack I was looking for. Here I go. Squatarius. See that? Uh, Cinderella is really coming into play. She's like, she's not a tank, but she has the tank skill, so it also kind of works out, you know? Okay. Because Kutari block is actually a lot of shield, you know? Let's see how much damage this guy's gonna do. See, zero. And that's like half half of his normal spin damage. I shall do my best. Uh here I go. How can spikes miss? <laughs> It's not like the guy's going anywhere, man. Uh, okay, let's pause some SP on you. Oops, too far down. And let's toss some SP on you. Here, thank you. Here, thank you. Oh. Crap, the infection this. is spreading. We need to we need Here to clear it. Guard stall. Here I go. 
We can't afford to let that infection just stay because we're all gonna die. Not immediately, but soonish. Rage Rush. Ow. Ow. Okay. Here I go. Right, item again. It's so helpful to have like even if Gretel isn't your biggest damage dealer, it's so helpful to have another person that can use items. It's actually broken, you know. Let's go! Well not broken. Other games can have you can have the entire team use items, so I guess it's like it's just a quirk of this game, I guess. I miss. Random rush. Recovery? Yes, there is. Hang on. Focus. Yes. And since she has a logic boost, that two allies becomes th three allies, you know? Okay, so... Should be easy enough now, right? Just SP there and... Rage Rush. It's almost dead. All right, he is dead. I guess we're down here. Level up. Take this. Yeah. Rar. We did it. Good work. Thank you, Jack. That felt great. We did it, sis. I guess we're that much closer to escaping from this place. Yes, assumedly. What's the matter, Otsu? You don't look too well. Oh, I was just thinking that we still have a long ways to go before we reach the top. Yes, I strongly suggest we keep moving and not assume that this was the last of our hurdles. I suppose you're right. There is no telling what li still lies ahead. Right. Let's keep going and make sure we have our guard up. Alright. Okay. Where's the exit? It's probably through that door. Uh How is that? Okay, I'm gonna go save just to be sure, you know? You know it's really annoying that we encounter the the nightmare here, right? So you'd think that the exit is right here. No man, you gotta fight. Fight, 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 fight all the way here. <laughs> it's like the last insult to injury, you know? Is this the upper tower now, though? It is. What's with this place? Judging by how high we climbed, I assume we just entered the upper level of the tower. So, we must be at least halfway through this place! So far, so good. If things keep up, then... Rawr! What, what was that? I, I haven't heard anything like it before. Otsu, isn't this? Yes, there's only one existence that could unleash, unleash such a horrible roar. But we already defeated the nightmare here. I assume there's another nightmare guarding the upper levels. What a chore. <laughs> That's the game just being self-aware at this point. There it goes again. Huh? Wait, the nightmare is scared? Yes, I can feel its fear, but why? How many more times do we have to face that nightmare? It'll be fine, I don't see the area getting white and the roar came from afar. I'm sure things will be okay so long as we keep our guard up. Yes, I don't think that nightmare is anywhere near us. We're so close, let's do our best to make it through. Of course we will, princess. We will make it through for sure. Now then, let's get going. I can't wait! Alright, so since I said I was gonna look for Alice's stuff... Go. I... I have to find the... I have to get Clara to spawn up here. Just to be sure that, you know, it might actually be the... Um... New work orders, really? Welcome, well... But yeah, it might actually be up in the upper tower, like her gift items for sale. What's new, though? She'll sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Tower base, first floor, upper tower, eighth floor. Tea party. Oh no. Oh no, this is just. This is just a location, right? Just head to the head to the eighth floor X16 Y26. Okay, I can take that. Uh sister guide, no. Elegant hood, no. I mean I know this is also for Alice, but I think I mean who else would like a tea party manual, right? You be careful out there. An order that needs me to go into the tower. I better get myself ready for this. That's it? That's all you have to say about that? Okay. Welcome. Well, so, um, I, I already gave you a, a, like a huge uh, battle showcase in the tower base, and I don't think anyone has to see more recolored versions of the same enemies, because that's what we know what the upper tower is like anyway from Nightmares. Never mind, I, I was wrong. They're not recolors. Okay, I'll show this one fight and we'll end the episode. What are- what the hell? Who are these? Ivy Tail A. Okay, and then Vile Eye. Well, I remember the Vile Eyes. I can do this. Also, maybe I'll switch my team out. I, I, uh, I think... I think the backline needs to do some work at this point, honestly. I mean, yeah, okay. Well, those are dead. And those are dead. Okay, so that was surprisingly easy. Not gonna lie. But anyway, let's just skip to the core. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna grind this whole place out off camera. Next time we see each other, it's either a highlight or the actual core fight already, okay? So if you want to see that, maybe leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been Caffeinified Gaming, and there's a Martian behind this door.